Hey everybody, Lisa Young Sutton and I am back with part two of the uh, box spread videos. Okay, so this is a reading I was just hired to do and I would normally have laid a, a grand tableau for this uh, man, but instead I uh, opted to lay three box spreads for the sake of making this video. So the first box, as you see here, is my standard technique. It is the way I read any box in a grand tableau. And this is the way I read any box spread um, unless I am reading it for timing or something. But this is my standard method. So first of all, I said I was going to show the cards that I'm using. This is the Purple Dragon Lenormand, it says. That's, that's a Dundorf. So that's the Purple Dragon Dundorf right there. These are all mini decks, by the way. Okay, so the first question I asked was, what is preventing Jay from finding a life partner? Okay, because that is why he came to me for a reading. So this is what I saw. If you notice, the heart came up as the center card. I did not place it there. None of these car, uh, boxes have any pre-selected cards, okay? so. The heart showed up as the heart of the matter, and that's that's normal. You will find that, that that happens. So this is what I saw when I laid out these cards. If you recall, I, I do a quick glance at first, and the first thing I couldn't help but notice is the final card of the coffin. Now, this is a good point because you have to remember your question. I'm not asking, will he find a life partner? Because if you look at these cards and you didn't write your question down and suddenly you start thinking, oh, wow, you know what? He, uh, he's not going to find anyone. That's not what I asked. I asked, what is preventing him from finding a life partner? So this is not um, an outcome, okay? This is not... Um, an outcome of a what's going to happen. This is not saying he's not going to find anyone. But let's see what I got. He goes out looking among the many, but finds fault. Okay, so here we have the social card. We have the card of many, right? Then we have the cross. He's testing and critical, possibly holding them to an unattainable standard. Okay. Then I look down here, the lady knights to the cross, uh, the cross and the coffin, right? That is how I got that he's possibly holding them to an unattainable standard, okay? So that seals her fate, all right? But that's the first thing I saw when I glanced at this. The hidden issue, look at this, the hidden issue is a wall he's put up. They can't scale his mountain. All right, now look at his corners. He goes out, he finds fault, he puts up a barrier, he ends it, all right? Now we have the X reading. X marks the spot, remember? He dates, he loves, he ends it. Here's the hidden influences, right? He, oops, hang on. He tests, he opens his heart, he finds fault and he blocks it. Now, one, one thing that I wanted to mention with this um, hidden influences uh, line here is, you ever hear that, that saying, if you want to discuss philosophy, go to the front door and ask for the philosopher. But if you want to know about his personal life, go to the back door and ask for the scullery maid. Okay, so to me, this is going to the front door and asking for the philosopher and, and asking about philosophy. This is going to the back door and seeing what's really going on. That, that's how I look at that. Okay, so that, is, that was the first thing that I, that I saw when I looked at this. Now, that is the, the synopsis of this whole square, right? That's like the Cliff Notes version. So the coffin as the final card, as I said, is not saying that he won't meet anyone. It's saying that he keeps ending things or they keep ending. But because, now here's the mirror, right? 
because it's mirroring this cross and it's mirroring this mountain, this wall he puts up, de being defensive and, and cold and, you know, uh, hard to scale the mountain, all that, right? I'm seeing it that he is ending. He keeps ending it. All right, so now this could also be saying that he's dragging baggage, right? This is the cross he's bearing and he eliminates them by overanalyzing because here's the sun. The sun here I saw, I mean, it's flanked by the, the cross and the, and the coffin. So I was like, you know what, that's, and, and it's, look, you know, we have lady, then we have the heart, but then we have this. It's like he's overanalyzing. He's, um, he's being overly critical, okay? Um, you could say that he's basing an adult relationship on feelings or attraction more than anything because of this being in the center. Now this man is in his 60s, right? He's divorced, has a slew of grown children. Um, you know, this is not a, a young a young person looking oh, looking for their first love, okay? Um, all right, so reading the rose. Garden social is, is social, it's going out, it's dating. You know, a fish is, is many. It's, um, yes, it can be finances and it can even be fertility, but you have to look at all of your cards. You have to consider your question and consider the context. Now, like what I just said about him, is that going to be fertility? Uh, I don't think so. Is that going to be money even? This man has plenty of money. He, he owns his own business. He's very well off. Um, you know, so that, that kind of eliminated that for me, just by the context. All right, so what did I see this as? I, I saw that as, as going with the flow, as, you know, many people, right? Here you have going out, you have a single woman down here, but here you have many options, okay? Um, this is also an opportunity for increase. He's trying to bring someone into his life, right? Okay. So now the cross is worry, it's despair, it's that he needs help and he's coming to me for help. This is the first time he's ever gone to a card reader. So as, as he put it, it's his last resort. <laughs> so yeah, you know, okay, he's coming for help. Um, but it's also being critical, it's testing, it's looking for, for anything wrong, right? Um, and then of course we have, you know, love, emotion, um, you know, making, looking for something that will make his heart sing, it's uh, desire, it's passion, it's all that fun stuff. Okay, the sun, the sun can be very much a card of the self and the, and the ego. And like I said, um, that will depend on the other cards, the question and the context. But that is definitely how I saw it here. Um, the mountain down here, you have uh, cold, distant, harsh, it's big and imposing, it's obstacles, enemies, you know, is it that he, he puts up a wall, he, he has this mountain that they can't scale, and, and, you know, maybe he's looking for ways to make them into enemies, he's looking for something wrong with them. Okay, now the anchor down here, long-term goals, slow moving, um, we could say it's getting hooked, right? It's also security, uh, playing it safe, right? F fear of being tied down, um, wanting a deep connection. Look at this, deep, heart, anchor, wanting a deep connection, okay? But, but look at what the cards that flank the anchor, mountain and cross, right? So this is saying what he wants. Remember I said this is the inner heart of the story here so maybe this is what he wants right but but look at the cards that are around it the cards that are pushing down and the cards that are pushing and catching right so those are the those are the rows now the top is weighing down okay and the top is weighing down on everything else and shows the burden of catching the right fish, right? The right, the burden of catching the right fish in a sea of options. Okay, you you could look at the the top uh, row as as saying that. Okay, 
if this is what he's dealing with right now, this makes sense, doesn't it? Well, he's looking for a woman. He wants to fall in love. He's putting energy into it. He's, he's, he's out there seeing everyone clearly, right? He's, he's really looking. Um, the bottom row, what, what is uh, at the foundation of this project shows his stubbornness, his resistance, his defensiveness. This can also be a fear of rejection right here. This uh, mountain in the hidden, um, hidden uh, issue space, okay? He puts a barrier up between him and the other woman. You can say with the, with the anchor after it, he's dragging his feet, right? And then he, then he closes. So those, uh, those rows said a lot. Okay, so he's, um, you know, you could say, well, you know, another way of looking at this too is that he's got buried issues that he's just dragging along. He's, he's creating his own mountain, in other words. All right, so now the columns. Look at the columns. We have the, you know, he goes out, he finds a woman, he puts up the wall, right? He's, um, he's going with the flow. He tries to go with the flow. He opens his heart. He's, that, that is his goal. But then he finds fault. He overanalyzes. He ends it, right? So there we have from left to right, top to bottom, a story. All right. So that's, uh, that's what I got from, from, that, from that reading. All right. So now what I did next was, I'm going to have to move this over, is I, you know what, let me cover this with something. Yeah, let's just get that out of the way so you're not bothered by that. All right, that's good, right? There we go. Okay, now this is the Alta Deutsch deck. All right, that's the Alta Deutsch deck. And in this spread, what I did is I laid a past, present, and future. Okay? For all of you past, present, future fans out there, I wanted to do one. And I, I use them occasionally. Um, so my question was, show me the past, present, and future regarding his search for a new partner. All right? So... Because this is past, present, and future, and I already performed his reading, and I never asked the same question twice, okay, no double dipping, I'm only reading the columns in this, okay? So, this is his past. We have whip, letter, mountain. We have communication is sandwiched, right, between a, a, a rock and a hard place, <laughs> you could say. This is effort and struggle and discord. This can also be casual sex. Um, then we have, this is what is being communicated. And then, and these are both um, communication cards, right? Um, but then we have the defensive, cold, distant, harsh obstacle barrier, right? So what happens with all of this effort and maybe casual sex and then, then he gets talking to her? <laughs> Right, and then he puts the mountain up. He puts the wall up. <laughs> so um, that actually was already confirmed by him. <laughs> okay. All right. So now what do we have in the present? So that's his past. That's, that's how he's been doing it, right? So this is his present. And the present, you can already see that it's looking better. Oh, now, oh, I already moved the other spread. But if you look back in the video and look at the original spread, these two cards were exactly the same. His hidden hidden issue card was, was the mountain, and, and he got the heart in the center again. So those cards are, are the same. All right, so this is his present, which is topped by changes, new ideas, things are moving, improvements. So that's good, good, right? And it's regarding his heart. And what does the child say here? Well, the child makes this smaller, right? We're talking about changes of the heart, change of heart right? There's a phrase for you. There's a change of heart. What can we say? What does the child say about it? He's taking it slow. He's taking baby steps. It's just starting, 
All right, this process, this is the present, remember? So this is just starting. It's a new project, all right? Now here's where it starts to get good. Here's his future. As you can see, clouds tops it. Clouds is above the ship. What does that tell you? This is still a distant journey. This is still a long journey and it's a stormy journey. Okay, I mean, that's classic, right? Clouds above the ship. So he's not out of the woods yet, but look where it ends. It ends with the star. So that the star is success, is progress. It's a new path, it's recovery, right? And guidance, right? Well, he is getting some guidance now. And um, he's, uh, he's, he's on the right track because you can see we're going from bad to better to, to better. Bad, bad to, <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying. We went, we're going from bad to good. Okay, so that is the past, present, future. So with all of the information we got from the, the main box spread, now we can see that he is moving in the right direction. So now I did one more. Yeah. <clears throat> I did one more for y'all. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is where I broke it into time frames. Remember I said you can you can use a box for timing. So what I did is I wanted to know how things are going to play out for him over the next year. So each column is four months. This is right now the first four months, then this is the next four months, and this is the last four months. Now this deck is uh, the Stralsunder. This is the Stralsunder Lenormand. Okay, so now here again, I am only reading the columns because of, I already did my main spread, and I already did a past, present, future. So I'm not gonna ask the same question a second or a third time, right? So I am only reading the columns for timing. I am looking to see in a timing spread, what am I looking for? I'm looking for my theme cards. Where are they gonna show up? I think you can already see where this is going. <laughs> okay, so now, Look at the first column. This is the first four months where we're at now. We can see we're not out of the woods yet, but he's communicating. So he's, he's going to get out there. He's going to talk. Here's another communication card, right? But this is like superficial communication, right? This is chatter and this, is, this can be brain activity too. Like he's just, he's doing a lot of thinking. He's nervous about it. This is like those little everyday minor stresses, right? Here we have the tower. The tower is saying to me it's going to take a while yet and that he's still in his tower. This is also the, um, the card of solitude, right? So he's talking to others, he's thinking about it, he's still stressing about it. It's gonna take a while. This is, in other words, it is not gonna happen in the next four months. Okay, so now we're looking at the following four months. So now this is eight months out. And what do we have? Now take note that the birds card, even though there's three birds on this card, this is the traditional card of the couple. Now that ends this column. So that kind of leads you right into this. So what is this showing? It, this is the, um, like I said, the eight months from now, right? He's recognizing someone or being recognized. It's the card of social success, okay? So here something is starting. Plus we have the ship. The ship is saying new opportunities. The journey is starting. Plus, look at this. The ship is heading right toward the ring. Ooh, don't want to look at that column yet. Okay, but what does the cross at the bottom say? The cross says his burden's not over yet. So are we going to say, oh, it's going to happen within eight months? Nope, I wouldn't. Not with that cross there. He's still carrying a cross. He's still carrying some baggage. All right, but now look at the, the uh, you know, okay, I can't do math. <laughs> I can't do math on the fly. This is the last four months, you know what I'm saying, all right? Okay, months eight to 12, right? This is the first four months, this is four to eight, that's eight to 12, there you go. You did it, Lisa, good for you. All right, here we have it. Now look what showed up here. We got the woman showing up. We got the ring 
and we have the child for it's just starting. So during the last four months of this spread, which is a year spread, okay, it's just going to start. He's going to meet her. I think he meets her here, right? This is where he meets her. And then it moves into this, but this is just starting. Now, this is not a done deal yet. I mean, I'm not saying he's, you know, he's going to get married during this last four month period because you have to consider that this is the final column. Now, it's the same with a grand tableau. Anything that lands in that final column may happen outside of the time frame. The cards have no way of telling you that except to put them in the final column. But because of these two cards, because of this one leading to these two and these two leading to these three, I'm pretty confident that he's, he's going to commit to someone during this last four uh, month period. Okay. So that's it. There's your demonstration of three ways to read a box spread. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. And as always, if you have any questions, just post them underneath this video and I will answer them. Okay. Thanks for watching everybody. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.